Tush, thanks ever so much for joining us. It's a big week for ground staff everywhere. This is National Grounds Week. We're down here at Chiswick Cricket Club, the club that you prepare the grounds and manage. Um, Tush, you're a very young groundsman. You're the yeah. youngest groundsman to our knowledge in Middlesex. Tell us how you got into the role. Um, so I probably started when I was about 14, just helping my dad out on at our old club at the, on the ground and just like slowly fell in love with it. Was always in love with the sport. So it was nice to just take part in managing the pitches and helping out. So she had a bit of a one-man band down here, I guess like many groundsmen across, across the country. You're, you're running the grounds yourself. You're a multi-sports club facility here. You've got rugby, I can see. You've got football, you've got cricket. Huge amount to get, get on with. How do you manage that? Um, well, it can be quite challenging, but luckily for me, the boys here are quite nice. They, uh, someone came down today to help with the rugby posts, so it's okay. It's 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 okay. It's manageable, but obviously, like everywhere, you know, there's not enough hands to help out with with anyone. Earlier this week, Tish, we caught up with Raj Nath, one of Middlesex's county pitch advisors. Now I know Middlesex work very closely with yourselves and a number yeah. of other clubs around the county. Uh, offering help to ground staff. How beneficial have you found that and what help have you had from Middlesex? Um, we've had the likes of Chris Wilkins and Phil Jagger come down and just give give advice on the square. Chris has helped out as well with the reseeding and whatnot at our club. Um, and obviously Middlesex use our pitches for their disability games, which is quite nice, good exposure. It's always nice to, to see some great cricket involved especially at, down here at the club. Tush the first thing that becomes apparent to me is talking to you you're obviously very young uh, you speak to a lot of ground staff who have plenty more experience than yourself they've been in the game a long time what do you learn from those people that you work with and what's the community like in terms of other ground staff and offering you as a youngster the support that they that they have benefited from from their years in the job? It's, it's really really lovely community to be honest everyone's always pushing me to do better, just encouraging me. And you, you go to different grounds and you see how different groundsmen do different things. And it's like, oh, maybe I could nick that idea from him or I could take take this from him and mix it together and then it becomes your own and just add to it. So there's always different ways of doing different things. But um, yeah, I think it's just, it's just a nice little community. Everyone's helping each other. Just keep going at it. And what would you say, Tush, if there were one or two things that you would say about the job that really stands out for you and makes it all worthwhile and gives you fulfilment at the end of the day, what would they be? To be honest, it's probably on a Saturday after the game's done and everyone comes up to me, ah, oh, Tush, the pitch was really nice, well done. I think that is probably the best part of the job. It's pretty rare, Tush, that we're out talking to such a young person who's got such responsibility managing the grounds of a club here. What would you say to other aspiring young ground staff out there that wanted to get into your position? What advice could you offer them? Um, just love it, genuinely. Like I think, if you if you love it, you won't you won't mind the the challenging works that you do get put through on a day to day basis. But if you have love for not just cricket but any sport and you want to get into being a groundsman, just I think the first part is always love it and just enjoy it. And you mentioned you started obviously at your previous uh, club, which I think was Kenton. You're yes. here now at Chiswick. Yep. What does the future hold for you, Tush? Um, to be to be honest, I'm quite young, so who knows where I could end up? Maybe I'll stay here the rest of my life. Maybe go on to Lords. Who knows? Or just, but I want to try and create a business out of it. Maybe take on some more clubs, and just expose myself to the cricketing world. Obviously. Uh, this week is all about the GMA uh, and, and it being Grounds Week. Um, how much help do you as a, as a groundsman get from the GMA? Um, quite a lot, to be honest. Like We can send in core samples and all sorts and they'll let us know how, how our square's looking, if it's nice and healthy or what needs to be done to it. And two weeks out, Tush, how ready are you for the start of the new season? Well, I'm really excited. Um, just started, going to start pre-season rolling soon. Um, start getting this outfield looking into to a better nick to be honest <laughs> with all the damage the football has done but it's all right excited to play as well to be honest so that's good to hear well thanks ever so much for joining us all the very best of luck over the coming season thank you thanks for your time <laughs>